Hot potato, baby. 2021. Yeah, baby. Love hot potato. Great, great challenge. Excited. Best, best part of hot potato. You know what you do? You, you, you first you go to Twitter because someone said you messed up the link in your tweet. Okay. You know what? You're absolutely right. I did mess up the link in my tweet. I didn't put a dot between the Twitch and the dot TV. So we're going to start and we're going to go delete. And then we're going to go retweet, quote tweet, paste it again. We will go to the emoji keyboard. Get the red circle. Make sure we put an extra period in there. And there you go. Rip YouTube audience. Hey, Ninja of Death 18. Thank you as well. This this is one the most cynical YouTube audience. Good lord, what the heck is happening? <laughs> what what is this spam right off the bat? My god. But tell me, what's your game and how to play? Because I'm a noob at loving. Without cheating, I promise not to miss a thing. What's your game I want to play? Because I need skill at loving. Without cheating, I promise not to let you win. Dan, is that your raid message? Because I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I came pretty close to going, like, subscribers only raid there. And, and considering that I believe I've been uh, timed out in your chat... For talking about the SMP 500, it's a little. It, I'm just. I'm calling out a slight double standard there. I mean, that's like a, a three paragraph raid message. I appreciate the raid. I don't want that to get lost in the sauce here. And it, it's also worth noting we we got different moderation standards. No doubt about that. However, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> It's a bit of an adrenaline spike, you know, three minutes into the stream here. Okay, get me out of here. You gotta listen to the song? I mean, okay, so like, uh, we're, we're gonna... It, sometimes you might find yourself being like, it seems like NL's been a little salty. Let, let's start the stream today, okay? Here's how the stream started. First off, people were like, you have a typo in your tweet. I go correct the tweet, I come back, I got a raid message that sounds like it's, uh, you know, a, a malicious troll raid from, like, a, a Discord or something like that. You know, it's not a, a banner seven minutes for the start of the stream, plus I'm playing Hot Potato to begin with. Either way, we're making it, we're, we're keeping our sodium levels low, as low as possible. I thought you finished Isaac yesterday. Uh, I gave us an 83% chance, and you know what? We're, we're simply in the 17% where it did not get finished. I really, like, when I was making the odds, I honestly was like, I thought we had maybe a 100% chance. I took it down to 87 for like, you know, to keep it realistic. And then Hot Potato just like dominated us. Chances of finishing today are low because we only got an hour before we go to Pokemon uh, Unite. Could happen. I mean, if we had like an insanely fast hot potato, it could happen, but... Please. Okay, the second secret room is very important. We should actually... I mean, if we wanted to be smart, we should really take the the chance to get absolutely everything here. Please? That's not the second secret room? I was, <laughs> was trying to get it to blow up for like 10 minutes there, okay. Anything incredible on the shop? Not really. Can I, can I get an intel check on what the fool card with the question mark does? My main goal is to blow up and act like I don't know nobody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Teleports you to mom, drops all of your consumables on the ground. What do you mean it drops all of your consumables on the ground? 
like all the consumables that you're holding? Oh, all the, all the, I see. So like your money, your bombs, your keys. Drops them all on the ground. That's kind of interesting. I mean, I, I have no uh, desire for, oh, your hearts as well. Oh, so maybe it'll actually just kill us. If we can actually get like some kind of value out of it, it would be, uh, would be interesting. Like if we, oh, I don't know about this one. Um, like if we had a, uh, like a swallow, not a swallow penny, but like a counterfeit penny or a flat penny or a burnt penny, garlic, penny, scampi, Cajun, penny. You know, you ever see Forrest Gump? Did you know um, that Haley Joel Osment played young Forrest in Forrest Gump? I did not know that. You, not not the whole because there's two young Forrests in Forrest Gump. There is Forrest Gump as a child, and then there's Forrest Jr., which is uh, Forrest Gump's son with Jenny. He plays, I believe he plays Forrest Jr. Yes, he was on Comedy Bang Bang this week and they mentioned it. Yeah, that's how I got it too. I was, dude, I, I honestly, I was walking the baby. I almost made a tweet and the tweet was going to simply say, yo, Haley Joel Osment is funny as hell. I had no idea. Why? The, okay, everybody gets one. Hey, 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 everybody gets two. I will also say Justin would love the episode. Um, because they do prognosticate the idea of, uh, horny gump. I believe they ask, does Forrest Jr., do, does he F in that movie? To which Haley Joel Osment says, I mean, maybe eventually. And then it turns out it was all a hilarious misunderstanding. They were asking if Forrest had engaged in fornication in the course of the movie. Who? Well... Not Forrest Jr. Whatever, it's not like I really wanted Poke Go anyway. Copium. Shot speed up, that's, that's top tier. Forrest has a daughter in the movie, right? Uh-oh, uh It's we're witnessing the birth of a brand new Mandela effect in chat. I, this is so weird, it was on AMC this weekend, because AMC only plays like the same nine movies from between 1982 and 1997. Uh, and there just so happened to be the, the Forrest Jr. scene, where Forrest Gump meets his son for the first time, without knowing that his son even existed. And he says, he's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But, is he, is he like me? And then Jenny says, he's really smart. He's got some of the top marks in his class. To which I would say, that sounds a little bit more average to me. I'm not trying to, you know, be super negative about it, but you know, if he's in like the top six or seven people in his class, like that does, it sounds like he's maybe less than a standard deviation outside of the average. It's not, I'm not that impressed, Haley Joel. That's all I'm trying to say. I know you didn't write the script, but maybe you could have punched it up a little bit. Plus, I'm like, you're not going to, this isn't a preparatory school, right? We're talking about a, an American middle school in like the 1970s. How hard could it be? Okay, you got me, you got me. Have you watched A Quiet Place 2 yet? Uh, I I have not, but I did love that, that tweet that's going viral. Uh, that's like a, a letterboxed review of A Quiet Place 2 that says why the hell they want to live so damn much. That's kind of how I felt in the in the first Quiet Place too, as well. I was like, "Come on, man!" There's a lot of no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? We need brimstone bombs so badly. This is what I'm going for. Um, I'm going crazy. Like in in the first Quiet Place, 
I get it. Like you got a you got a family, you got kids to live for and stuff like that. As the kids get a little bit older, I think I'd be like, you know what? Why don't you guys uh you guys tough this one out? I think I'm opting out for it's just a lot of running, right? That's my main thing. Just strikes me as a little too much running. Like I'm kind of early when I was younger in like a zombie apocalypse situation. I think I was like, man, like I would like fight my hardest to survive. I still I I think that in a in a zombie situation, I would fight to survive for like another like 20 years or something like that. Um but I think beyond that, if I was like a 50 55 60 year old, I think I would just be like, "You know what? Just take me out." I think I've I I'd rather have more of my life exist in the pre-zombie apocalypse than the post-zombie apocalypse. I'll play it by ear. You, <laughs> it's it does kind of feel like you own the zombies in a way, right? Like, wait, that, that tweet about Jigsaw? That's like, you know, if Jigsaw caught me, I would simply die. I wouldn't play his dumbass games. Like, I'm like, yeah, no zombie's gonna get one over on me, man. Oh, you're gonna eat my brains? Guess what? I'm, I'm out. For that reason, I'm out. I'm not gonna play your stupid game. Okay. Good. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm a believer in this run. I know I keep saying it every time. Uh, all we need is either like bomb immunity or brimstone bombs. What a throw. Oh, the throw failed. Take me down, right? What is this? Oh, Queen of Hearts? Queen of Hearts? Oh, question mark card. We had a Queen of Hearts at some point, but I... I Lover's card, second secret room. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. <clears throat> if you think about it, Repentance is a bit like a Jigsaw film. Mm, is this a Forrest Gump quote again? I think it's the, the real quote is, Life is like a box of chocolates. Can I tell you as well, I'm getting pissed off. This one goes out to my Canadian digital cable subscribers, um, which I understand is not a large part of my audience, but it, I, hopefully it's relatable for more people than just that narrow subgroup. I think the Crave television network slash, you know, also video on demand service, um, I think they're fucking with us. There have been, you know, sometimes movies have like multiple names, right? Uh, or let me rephrase, sometimes, Different movies end up being named almost the same thing. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good example that's not the one that I'm using right here. Uh, not, not live, die, repeat. I, I phrased it confusingly. That's not on you. That's on me. But uh, what I mean is sometimes you can have the same movie that's... You <laughs> sometimes you can have two different movies that came out in a different time period but have the same name but are unrelated. Like, isn't there the Woody Harrelson movie Rampage, and then also there's the Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, video game monster movie Rampage? Two movies named the same thing, but years later, okay? I, or maybe that's Rampart, my mistake, I forgot. Compass is kind of tempting, I'll admit. Anyway, long story short, I can't remember, but it happened like a couple of uh, weeks ago. I was on Crave, and it was like, oh, new movie just came out. And then I went to click on it, and it was not new movie. It was actually like a Canadian art house movie with the same name that came out like 14 years ago. And I'm like, the only reason that you're putting that on the app right now is because you're tricking people, right? Then, the same thing happened... Like two days ago, I was on Crave. And now I've completely forgotten, like it's just, it's it's now exhaustive from my brain. But there was like a new movie that, uh, the anecdote's just falling apart. Now I'm like, I gotta go into the freaking TV guide. I got distracted and I lost my, <laughs> I lost my data point. I want my data. Anyway. Crave, honey, you reap what you sow. It was not a, a second movie called Space Jam, I promise, but... 
Isn't all marketing just tricking people? No, I, I mean... I, I, no, I don't believe that. Kind of? Uh, explain yourself. That's uh, Look, it's one of those things where I think if you just have like a very uh, bold opinion, people like to believe uh, that it's true because you'd only have uh, a bold opinion with evidence. My life on the internet tells me that that is not the case. Like, not all of marketing is, is advertising either, right? Like, some of it is just bring, bringing a product to market. Literally, yes, BA Masters. What, what is, you, ha you have a Bachelor of Arts in Masters? I didn't know you, I didn't know you could get a four-year degree and a two-year degree. Or is that like, I've, I've got a Bachelor's of Advertising Masters. Business Administration Masters? Nobody calls it that, man, they call it an MBA. Anytime you see somebody on Twitter who's trying to get you to YOLO into Safe Moon, they, they put MBA in there. It's not a BAM. That's a guy from Jackass. That's the Emerald Lagasse, exactly. Bam. Bam. By the way, I have to tell you, thank you. Okay, my mistake. Thank you so much for the recipes last night. I asked for some dinner recipes. I, I needed some inspiration. Uh, after all of those recipes so generously offered, what did I make? The same pasta I usually make, but I added bacon this time for a little bit of extra pizzazz. <laughs> I will at some point go through those. Some of them looked pretty legit. Don't even get me started on the dishwasher salmon, man. Don't even get me started. Again, it's it's when you enter a different phase in your life as, as time goes on. I think the dishwasher salmon, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming, man. Whatever, we got extra HP out of it. <laughs> I couldn't find my way out. Dishwasher salmon is when you put salmon in a... Uh, like a salmon filet, you put it in a, like a sous vide style bag, and then you cook it on the dry cycle of your dishwasher, preferentially while you're doing the dishes to begin with. Um, preferably, I should say. Pretty fly, not very good. High Priestess, not so bad. Ace of Hearts. I think if you had Ace of Hearts enough enemies, you might be able... No! To, uh, to get spirit hearts out of it. Anyway, so y yeah, while you're doing your dishes, you put a little bag of salmon in there, and then it's when it's done, it's done. I'm willing to go a little deep on this. It is one of those things, though, where I'm like... I it, It's a life hack that... Im oh my god. In my opinion, doesn't have much of a reason to be a life hack. Um, because salmon is, like, really easy to cook. Like, it, it takes almost no time at all. A salmon filet in a, in a pan probably takes, like, if you put his skin down, it's like four or five minutes. And then you flip it over and just turn the heat off and let it, like, ambiently finish. Like... Seems like more work to put it into the dishwasher in the first place. Plus, it's like the least convenient way to actually cook, right? Because you gotta like... Make sure you're doing another chore alongside of your cooking. Not to mention, in my opinion at least, I, I tend to do my run my dishwasher after I've cooked and eaten dinner. So I feel like it's got a... It, like, I'd have to run it again afterwards, or I'd get on, like, an 18-hour offset or something like that. Who needs that, man? It's true, the plates will be hot when they come out. But they don't get hot, they get, like, they get clammy. I don't want to eat, well, I probably have, like, a, a hundred times minimum in my life, but in, in principle, I don't want to eat off of a plate fresh out of the dishwasher, like... It's the the plates are sweaty, man.
Anyway, I'm not a... I, it's, again, a life hack that I don't think is... I'm skeptical of it, but maybe I could be uh, I could be persuaded at some point in my life to give it a try. Uh, like, if they... If you could make, um, like, dishwasher beef wellington, something that's actually, like, you know, takes some effort and is complicated, I'd be, I'd be more likely to be interested. Um, but... Dishwasher, uh, salmon? I'm like, ah, salmon's already so easy to cook. You gotta, we gotta do a little bit more than that. Anyway, that's all I got. By the way, I got a question for you. Is panko gluten-free? Or did I accidentally buy gluten-free panko? Because I was at the grocery store and I bought panko. Uh, and on the box, you can even look it up. On the box, it says panko gluten free. And I thought to myself, I thought to myself, of course, you know, maybe like they, I don't care that it's gluten free, but maybe it's like the same way that LaCroix says, like the, the water has no sodium in it. I'm like, yeah, of course it has no sodium in it. I thought it was just something they were advertising. Uh, as like a, a, a meaningless benefit, then I realized, I think later, I accidentally bought the specialty version of panko, and that might explain why my breaded foods have come out tasting like a 7 out of 10 instead of a 15. Yeah, like, I, I thought it was one of those things where, like, you know, Lucky Charms are like, we contain whole grains. Like, I, I thought it was, you know, a, a lie designed to trick the the fools. <laughs> Not to trick me. At least we landed a shot, man. Fuck. Owens? This is bad. Edmund, you have made an S of peace. I will become back my time. Not my money, but my time. Don't rush me! Fuck! You suck! Okay, alright. Um, let's, uh, you know what? You will be a cow on a trush farm. No, no, no. It's not time to hold R. We're one brimstone bomb away from victory. That's it. One brimstone bomb, baby. Brimstone, brimstone bomb and I'll be okay. Please go angel deals. Who's gonna tell them? Confessional, huh? Not really what I was looking for. Extremely good! Extremely good! Yes! Okay, I have no idea what Incubus is gonna do. <laughs> okay, um, that's one way to do it. Uh, Absolutely, like, not even close. We for sure need a rotten baby. IMO is not worth going back in there to take, um, a Thame. Unless we can maybe... If we, if we guarantee ourselves some more HP later, I might. I might. I mean, one life is not that valuable for us right now, but... Why, why TF you want to live so bad? Now, at least we got, like, a little... Extra range damage? Hey, Rotten Baby, there's like a single fly remaining, like... This is... It, it, it's speed, it's so not worth it, but like... It's not even speed, it's, it's tears, okay. May, maybe that's okay. Hero's Medallion. Did you see the meme about cooking salmon in your coffee maker? With lemon juice? I'm, people are disrespecting one of nature's most noble fishes.
Like, we're a very pro-salmon, you know, part of the world up here. I, I would never cook that stuff in my coffee maker. It's just distress. I can't even imagine being a, like, you know, a, a fish. You know, you got life, you got dreams. All of a sudden, you're like, well, if you cook me, at least make me beautiful. And they're like, nah, I'm just going to throw you in the top of this Maytag, you know, coffee percolator from 1974 with a little bit of lemon juice. It, it, like, I'm all for convenience. I, I do things out of convenience all the time. Maybe that's why I get so annoyed when people come up with things that are just, like, not convenient, but under the guise of convenience. I need to go to this curse room. Please. An example? An example would be cooking, um... Let's go. Salmon in your coffee maker. I think. Yeah, I mean, the example is literally what we were talking about like two seconds ago. <laughs> It started with an example. I'm not gonna belabor the point. Don't don't kick me out of the door. Or do, I guess it doesn't matter. What about hot tub ramen? Again, it just is one of those things that's like... I guess maybe that's the joke. Like, maybe I'm the fool, right? Like, I don't under... It's, it's like when people are like, Hey, here's a little pro tip for you. Instead of uh, boiling water every time you make pasta, just... Boil all the water you need and then store it in the fridge for later. Hermit card is pretty good, man. Would a fool believes? Now that's an underrated song. Also one of the greatest songs to try to sing. Um, because of the fact that uh, you don't have to actually hit any pitches for people to know what you're singing. You just go, He gave us some way back in it long ago. You, you just put on your Michael McDonald voice. What's your go-to karaoke song? Oh, that's a, now that's a question. I saw that that was trending today on, on Twitter. Um, I have a few. Born to Run by... It's less about, like, songs that I love, more about the very limited amount of songs that uh, fit my two-thirds of an octave range of actual singing, and also I know the words. Um, one would be Bruce Springsteen's Born to Run. Okay, hold on, now we're talking. Uh, one would be... Uh, Duran Duran, Hungry Like the Wolf. Karaoke joints tend to have an absolutely horrible selection of rap and hip-hop music for whatever reason. Um, but if they got a good selection, they, you can go with, like, any rap song. I mean, I've done, like, Wild Wild West in the past, obviously, but, you know, nothing but a G thing. Keep their heads ringing, ding, ding, dong. Ring a ding, 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 dong. Rap isn't singing, it's just mumbling. Are you are you a time traveler from like the 1980s uh, Blue Ridge Mountain region? I don't respect rap. It's not real music. My favorite song, a freaking way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. It gets hotter than a poochie coochie. Pyramid of cans in the pale moonlight. Talking about love and dream about women. Never gonna do it, gonna get it for the mini. Um, anyway. Get out of there! Dude, this run is, is kind of popping now. I will say, I you can judge someone by their karaoke songs a little bit. You, if, if I go to karaoke with you and you put on some shit from Rent... Oh my god, man. You better be fucking... You better be blowing it out of the water. Because if it's even slightly pedestrian, that's going in my in my cringe compilation. Especially... What the hell is that? Stud finder? Points it at chest? <laughs> um, 
<laughs> mm, this thing doesn't work. <laughs> Bad devil room, by the way. Um, bro, are we out this floor? Or are we out this floor? That's just a teleporter. The other thing is, um, like, I, I genuinely, I, I love Malf. You know, he's like one of my best friends. You're right, we should go to the dice room. He's... And I don't mean this to be rude, okay? The, the karaoke etiquette that he has, we disagree a lot. And I'm not trying to just get him, you know, get you on my side, I should say. But like, I've been to karaoke with Mouth a couple of times. One thing that he'll, he's done a few times in the past is uh, he'll put on like a lot of songs in the queue at once. Like he'll he'll look through the book and like pick in bulk, and then he. But the the thing that's gonna you're gonna get annoyed by here because you might be like that's not that big of a deal. Um, is that they're not songs that he actually wants to sing. He just puts them on, and like then when they come on to the screen, uh, everybody goes, who put this on? And then everyone goes, not me, not me, not me, not me. And then we realize that it was Mouth because he's been holding the book for like 10 minutes. And then we go, why'd you put in the songs that you don't even want to sing? And then he goes, Oh, I just, like, nobody else was putting anything in, so I just wanted to make sure we could keep the party going. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I don't think that's how it's supposed to work, but it's it's a violation for me of the karaoke, uh, of the karaoke contract. No, this is like in, this would be in a karaoke room, not in like a a shared like everybody in the bar is in the same karaoke establishment. What a what a waste there. Um, that's really the only anti karaoke thing I have with Mouth. Except, well, no, there's one more thing. He would also, and you you could blame maybe the karaoke joint for for having these songs in there in the first place, but he would also like. Um, Put on extremely long songs with no knowledge or, or remembrance of whether or not they have like a, a four or five minute instrumental segment in the middle. Like, uh, you know, one by Metallica, for example. That's it, though. A apart from that, I, I got nothing negative to say. I just, we have different karaoke etiquettes. That's it. Why are those even on the machine? I, I don't disagree with you, man, but... But you gotta, you gotta acknowledge, like, your own... Uh, you, you, karaoke's about creating a shared environment. Well, I guess that's, like, the, my overarching thesis. Is when someone puts on a karaoke song that's just, like, for them, I'm like, that's not really what this is, like, about. So when you gotta put on a karaoke song to keep like the the party going, man. I'm saving the party, brother. I have also gone to karaoke. There, there's a few karaoke sins, okay? It doesn't make you a bad person if you commit a karaoke sin. It's just you know, it's it's etiquette. You can agree, disagree. You can change over time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um. Okay, thank God for that range up. Thank God for you, Peter. Um, so one karaoke sin is putting on more than one song at a time. You gotta at least be, especially if you're not even singing them. Um, but then the, the, the next thing would be singing the same song more than once uh, in, a, in a one hour or two hour karaoke window without having like 100% consensus. That's definitely a, that's a negative for sure. Why not? <laughs> After all, why, why shouldn't I have it?
Later. Oh, get out of there. <laughs> I just want it. I don't want to. I don't want to get hit. Okay, I think we do it like that. Bounce him. Then come in. Then do that. There you go. There you go. Hardest room in the game, baby. Yeah, that's really good with Rotten, baby. I mean, we got something here. It's it's not necessarily like lights out, but we got something. Oh, cool. Not smart. <clears throat> Mouth is talking about the time you puked on your pants and he went with you and Kate to buy more. Look, it's absolutely true. I have nothing to deny that. That's also a party foul. Um, one time with Malv and Kate, I drank so much. I got so sick. I have, like, I definitely threw up. I have almost no memory of, uh, of the night. But then the next day is so bad, man. But, like, the housekeeper at the hotel came in and was like, you know, oh my god, are you sick? And I was like, please don't clean up. Like, this is my fault. I'll do what I can. And then she was like... She insisted, and then the whole time she was just in the bathroom going like, Oh my god! Oh my god! And I was on the... I was on the hotel bed just like... It's the, the amount of shame that I felt in that moment is like... More than I've ever felt for just about anything in my entire life. I felt just so bad for... I mean, everything involved with that. No, no, not Torn Card! The embarrassment was, it was, it was nasty, for sure. It was my own bad behavior, for sure, that caused it as well. Let me, let me out. I don't want to be here. <clears throat> I need to not, uh, have torn card, because I don't even remember what it does. Well, you know, someone said I have almost the same story, except that, oh my god, I was like 10 years old. Well, if you're 10, it's different. Like, someone in chat, they were very nice. They said it was probably food poisoning. It was not food poisoning. Like, it was, uh, is definitely, I mean, I was poisoned by a thing that I consumed, but it wasn't like, you know, bad tilapia. It was like... Way too many. It was, yeah, literal poison. <laughs> it was drink poison. This is okay. Oh, yes! That is right, god damn it, yes! I did it! Okay, now we got something. That one goes out to the copium spammers. Dude, now imagine if we got uh if we got host hat again. Can I I, I do have to say that all comes down. We definitely want this for demon hearts, I think. Um oh, thank you. That all comes down to uh us, did you see the homing shot there? To us taking uh, Goathead, which almost killed us, and many people said this is the dumbest idea you've ever had. Yeah, well, guess what? Just open it, man. I don't give a, a crap. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it just pisses me off, man. It's so annoying. Oh, just keep shooting. You got rotten, baby. Just shoot him, man. You're aware you can still use bombs? The bombs... Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, that's such a good item. The bombs... Uh, come out of the familiar. They don't come out of your character. Okay? For the one billionth time. Oh. 
<laughs> the bombs come from this guy. They don't come from me. That seems huge. You sure? I'm turning over a new leaf. I have a new resolution. It's, uh... When you see the opportunity to uh, obliterate someone in chat, turning the other cheek. I think it's a, it's a new strategy I've just invented um, in order to, to maintain positivity. So as a result, we're going to instead just keep a smile on our face and proceed with the run. Original ideal, idea, do not steal. Is, is turn the other cheek from the, uh, is that from the Bible? I'm just thinking for a second here, because we're, we're going down. Yeah, yeah, just go down. It, it, it's from the Bible, but it's not a commandment. How does that work? Please. Please. I did I, Egghead probably blocked me from taking damage there. That's amazing. I'm just gonna like walk in a line and hope that we can actually just get the foot to spawn over here. It's beautiful. The Bible is actually only a 10 page book. Bro, it's just like it's so hard to understand like what kind of lessons they're getting at, right? Like you read the story, okay, Cain kills Abel in order to like prove to God that he's not like a, a puss or whatever. And then you're like, so what's the lesson? There's no lesson. I don't understand. Like, come on. You gotta... I'm not taking anything. I, even though the knife's there, I'm not taking it. It's like, th there should be like a little axiom at the end. That is like, the point of this story is don't murder your brother. And then I'd be like, oh, now I get it. But instead, I gotta go on like r slash fanfic or whatever. Try to figure out, like, what the hell they were getting at. I didn't take damage. This is so blessed. Egghead isn't guaranteed explosion immunity, right? It's just, uh, it's a chance, I think. It's 20%. Man, we're getting, we're getting lucky. story of Lot is not chill. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm, I can relate, though, because Lot's wife turns into, a, like, a pillar of salt, right? Like, I've been there. That's one of the most relatable stories, I think, in the Bible for me. There's a mandatory tutorial? Okay. Uh, in that case... I, it can't be that long, right? It's Nintendo. The only, the only tutorial, like, Mario Golf had, like, a seven or eight hour long tutorial. How bad could it be? That's, that's a real copium moment, for sure. I, if there's a mandatory tutorial, I will probably be slightly late to the call, Apollo. But this run will be done in time. So I won't I won't be much late. Can you skip the tutorial if you've played uh 300 300 hours of Dota in the past? Cuz I've played 800 hours, so No, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just embracing that I'm late now. I, I So now, it has, as somebody that's been on the late and the early side of things, I need to be the kind... Of, now I get to... I've, I've been annoyed. Have you ever had a dream that you wanted the dream to do you? That you want, you had, you want, you dream, you ever had, uh, you want? Um, I need to decide whether I'm going to be... The kind of late person that embraces their lateness, or the kind of late person that knows how to lie to early people to get them to not be mad. I'm not. I'm not sure. I, th I think if you, if you want to be lawful late, you just be honest. You know, 
as as a, a an early person in real life, but a late person on stream lately, especially. Um, I mean, we're we're close to Guppy, but I think maybe we can justify that for sure. Um, let me out. I you can pick up the red hearts, but I don't want to be late. Um, if you. Please, the other pill, the other card. If you want, if you're a late person and you want to not annoy your early friends, just be honest, okay? Instead of going like, hey, I'll be there in a minute when you, like the laws of physics will not allow for that, like you're hours and hours away possibly, then like, just don't lie about it. Just be like, I have not left yet. <laughs> I know we said 115. I want to lie to you. My hunch is to lie to you and tell me that I will be on time because I don't want you to be mad. But I will uh, not be on time. Bro, I'm a bad dude. I don't care. Let's try this. I'm, I'm, where's, my, where's my demon heart? Denny? Conjoined. Okay. People are more comfortable being lied to? No, I don't think so. I think, I mean, in some situations, if I was like, you know, what do you think of me? And you start lighting me up or something like that, I'd be like, you should have just said you're awesome. But if it's a situation where like, I'm like, hey, are you going to be here soon? They said they can't seat us till the whole table's here. And you're like, yeah, I'm right around the corner. And you haven't left like your fucking condo yet. Then that's a situation where you should just own that the other person has a right to be upset with you. Just, just take the L on that one. You're gonna drop it for this, this scumbag? There you go, there you go, there you go. This is, this is the stuff, bro. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not as good as I thought it would be, but it's still pretty good. Just drop that bad boy raid. I don't even know what hit me. That's okay, though. We're gonna do what is wrong with you? Hmm. I'm mad. What happened? He he went he went down into the hole, dude. Without my without my permission. He he blew himself up into the hole. Though this run is sick though. He wants me not to be late. <laughs> well, then he shouldn't have misspelled my tweet so that I had to go back and change the tweet. Or he should have made today's Slay the Spire daily a little faster. Notice I didn't say a little better because it was pretty good. But he should have made it a little faster so that I didn't have to record a... Uh, one hour and 15 minutes Slay the Spire episode coming to YouTube tomorrow, by the way. As long as you don't Colossal Throw, you're gonna be fine. I see a little X on top of the rock. See the rock, see the rock. Thank you for the spirit heart. Great song. Bohemian Rhapsody. We are the champions. This one this one will not lose. If you're if you're high on the copium right now. Like that's the thing. People always act like copium is only for like I'm gonna do something. There's also a lot of haters in this business. You get a lot of haters, and they're always like, uh like they have their own form of copium, which is like he's gonna lose copium. I promise you, I'm not gonna lose here. It's not gonna. Look at this. This is a final room. Like you, you guys, some, you guys, some hater copium is what you got going on. He will, he will never win copium. Can you just pop up? You're not an intellectual.
That's worth it. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, relax? What even are you? This room's gonna kill you? Copium? That's pretty good. I think I'm just gonna leave you, like, chilling in the corner, man. You're doing a, a great job. Look at that. GG. That's me in the spot. Light beating hot potato. Trying to get 1 billion percent. The chariot question mark card. Looking forward to never knowing what that does. He's done with five minutes to spare. Slash marker.